What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. I am on my way to pick up some new batteries for the solar shed. So I'm uh, headed to Continental Battery in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, I checked around to several places and this, this gentleman, Tony, gave me the best prices. So anyone who is in the DFW area and wants to get some Trojan renewable energy batteries, go see Tony. He gave me the best prices and he was uh, very happy to answer questions and, and take care of me. So I am on my way. Uh, I did decide, one other thing of note, I did decide to turn in four of all four of my golf cart batteries as cores. Um, the reason I did that was because after a couple repair charges and a couple recharges, trying to get those to come back to life, I did find that the, the, the oldest pair, I knew I was gonna turn those in, but the, the newer pair that I got in 2014, they were also showing some signs of having decreased capacity. So after about eight or nine hours of, of uh, being disconnected after a recharge, they were sagging down to about 12.4 volts. So uh, I just figured that the core charge is 26 bucks. I only paid 90 for them. So I'm just gonna turn them in so I can avoid paying the, the core charge and get some new batteries. So here's the batteries. We've got the uh, the older two. This is the one that had the terminal break off. And this one's just filthy. And then these are the two that were just not holding. They're probably down about three or four tenths of a volt. So nothing huge. I probably still could have used them, but like I said, it's worth it to me to save 26 bucks on the core charges. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn these in and get some new ones. Okay, so I'm back from the battery store um, with the new batteries. These are brand new T105 REs. And these, again, these are on the premium line. So these, these are much more expensive than normal golf cart batteries, but they're designated for renewable energy. And they're the premium line, which is the second from the highest, I believe, with Trojan, which means it carries a longer warranty and it's made with more premium components. It's designed for a longer life. So anyway, I've got the four batteries here, and then I've got this HydroLink system, which is a new watering system. I'll show you that later. But it basically replaces these caps and provides a, a system where you can put one end into distilled water and use a hand pump, and it'll automatically pump, we'll pump water into all of these, fill them up automatically for you. It's really pretty cool. Um, so I'll show you that later. But anyway, I just wanted to show you this and I promise this will be the last part shot with a cell phone. All right, so I'm ready to get started on this battery box. I've got the, the new batteries lined up here as they will sit inside of a box. So, and I've got plenty of scrap wood laying around from other projects. There's no reason this needs to be pretty. It just needs to be strong and uh, it needs to physically protect people from accidentally touching the terminals, but also provide an, an airtight enclosure that we can vent to the outside of the shed. I don't really think it needs to be insulated necessarily. I live in Texas. It doesn't get super, super cold here. And so anyway, it's just going to be a plain old battery box, plain old wooden box. And uh, so I need to take some measurements. So basically, I need to make it at least about 11 inches deep and at least 29 inches long and 12 inches tall, but I'm going to make it taller than that to allow space for the watering system and, and the wiring. So I'll probably make it 16 inches tall by let's go 30 long, 16 by 30 by 11. So I'm going to use this piece over here as the base. I've already measured it and it, it's plenty long enough to go underneath the batteries. Uh, it's three quarter inch plywood. You want this to be plenty strong. So um, I'll cut that to length to, to 30 inches. 
and then we will work on the sides and the lid. Okay, I've got all the pieces cut here, so I'm going to start uh, gluing and screwing them together on the edges, and this will take shape pretty quickly. So the battery box itself is complete except for the lid. Um, it's been glued and screwed together. It's fairly dry now. So what I'm going to do now is caulk, and it doesn't really matter what kind of caulk as long as it kind of helps it be airtight, but I'm going to use some leftover caulk from another project and caulk the corners and the, the seams just so that we can make sure that that harmful gas exits the shed. Okay, so we got it caulked, and then that last thing we're going to do is attach the lid with some hinges that I have left over from another project. So the beautiful thing is this, this box literally has cost me pennies because just materials I had laying around, so that's awesome. Because uh, I spent a fortune on the rest of the project. All right, there you go. That's a real down and dirty, I don't care what it looks like, battery box. So, like I said, we will pick up there where we left off next time, where we will finish the battery bank, vent the box, install the box, get the HydroLink wa uh, watering system set up, and we'll move on from there. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can watch all of my videos in the future.